Hello, everybody. Welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Black Book, a Slavic-inspired dark RPG with card combat. I'm very excited to check it out. It, uh, it's I've heard great things. The visual style is incredible. I mean, let's be honest. We're just covering it for this video here. Uh, sorry without much difficulty battle. Nah, fine. Let's Once go with normal. Evil spirits dwell. Oh, we have to change that. Sense, they still do. Second, I will tell you a story. It happened long ago, even before the revolution. It happened here, not far from Cherdin. I heard my grandmother tell it. A man was fostering an orphan girl. He was a Noah. Everyone called him Old Yegor. She didn't want to become a witch, but he taught her his craft. She was to be married to a special young man. I can't recall what exactly happened, but this young man took his own life. He was later buried beyond the gates of the churchyard. Which meant that he would pass straight to hell. As for the orphan, Vasilisa, she refused to accept it. She was intent on bringing back his soul from the Inferno. To do this, she would need to break the seven seals of the Black Book, which Old Igor kept, and retrieve him. And it was for that reason that Vasilisa agreed to become a witch. But to become one, she needed to be initiated in a banya or at a crossroads. And so, Vasilisa set out for the crossroads. All right. Apologies if it gets loud for a second. The narration is just very quiet. But, like, immediately, very striking visuals. Quite, quite literally immediately. And this, this is what the, the actual in-game will look like here, too, isn't it? Dang! I, it's very, yeah, very stylized. I just like it. Very clean. I slept poorly last night. All right, you, you're gonna need, to, you're gonna need to speak up. Uh, is general? Does by general do you mean everything? Because we're gonna do like a little bit of like this for a second. I mean, the music can even be up a little bit. And then I'm going to just turn the whole dang thing up. Why are they so, so quiet? I've been waiting, hoping for you to return. Speak up. <laughs> but you haven't. You never sat at the table. Where are you now, sweetheart? Where are you headed? Your relatives, and from the warm sun, they've departed. There's no entrance or exit for you, it seems. The cold mother of earth. There isn't even a churchyard fence to hold on to. Enough. I don't believe you would do this to yourself. It'll all be well. All will be well. I'll accept this knowledge from Grandpa, though I know what you thought of that. But there's no other choice. I'll drag you from that road myself. I'm gonna be a witch and go to hell. Sleep for now. Sleep. I won't be long. All right. Yeah, is that... It's seriously? I apologize for, like, going into it, but, like, especially for a very narrative-driven game, uh, which I believe this should be. I don't know. Uh, all right, so do we look at that? Oh, we can take the candles? Is that what it is? Wait, she. Oh, I'm turning. I'm turning them on or off. I don't know. Maybe that'll have some kind of lasting. This, this kind of lasting effect. <laughs> Look at me go. All right. Where to? To the crossroads. I mean, we've already looked at the grave. They didn't bury him in holy ground. Gotcha. To the crossroads. Okay, I gotcha. I gotcha. I, fair enough. Fair enough. This is... Oh, dang. This looks nice. This is quaint. 
I mean, I'm, I know I'm supposed to maybe be, like, bummed out by it. But I kind of want to look at the field over there. Spring is so hot this year. Well. Well. Prologue. Initiation of a witch. The darkness of the night is filled with anticipation. You're at Mikhail's crossroads, along with old Yegor. You know the ritual that has to be done, but you've never thought of what might happen once it's complete. However, the time to draw the circle has come. All right. For a second, I thought it was him talking. I was like, eh, it's not right. Not really the right voice for Where you. Where have you been? It will be midnight soon. Go over there by that milepost. Ah, I got heterochromia. A very groovy mutation. You'll find over there. Take the candles, we'll light them and draw a circle. Take the candles, draw a circle. Look at the, I mean, I have a, there's kind of a, there's some eyes over there. There's some eyes over here too. Immediate uh, concern. Old enchanted candles from old Igor's hut. With their help, you can draw a circle that can offer protection against the spirit. It applies three on the first turn. Sheridan, 60 miles. Soliskamisk. Soliskamisk. I can't. 102 miles. Mirab, 21 miles. I'm not even going to... I'm not I'm not going to try. I'm, I'm going to make a fool of myself either way, so... All right. So, we got our candles here. Adam's head heals minor wounds. Useful thing on any journey. Okay. Then what... what ooh, goblets. The crosses look old. Seems people were buried here quite some time ago. Well done, Vasilisa. Oh, thanks. Now let's draw a circle. Be careful not to leave any gaps. Otherwise, we'll be crushed by evil spirits. Fair enough. Make a circle. Is this how we get into, uh, art combat? I've made a circle. Is it all right, Grandfather? The circle is drawn. No gaps. Good. Too late to dither now. Think that I can help him? Sure you can. You can do anything when you have the book. So says the legend. Well, go on. It's time for you to take my knowledge. Such a long time we've spent together. Parting with it is bittersweet. Well, take it. Ooh, 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 ooh. I kind of don't want to just take it. I I just, something about this screen is really doing it for me. Just like, the visual direction in this game is just hitting. You look at that? Perfect for me. What power emanates from the book? The seal is open. It seems great sorcery lurks in you. Well, think about it later. Now speak the words I taught you. I'm scared. Is that the words you taught me? I'll get up without crossing myself, but I will go to the crossroads. On the crossroads, I'll draw a circle and step into it, and I shall speak. Good merchants, come and buy my cat. For this cat, give me neither in convertible ruble nor a fine hat, but bestow me with knowledge of the dark and eyes with vision sharp. So as I have said, so it will be. My words are stone. Oh, Here are your merchants. Now this is combat. Carefully. It's gotta be. If you value your life. To become a witch, you have to defeat this demon. Time for your first Sagavar. Ooh, welcome to your first battle. Each battle consists of turns. You and your enemy take turns, but you will always get to go first. You win when you destroy all enemies before you, reducing their health to zero. Oh, yeah. This is Black Book. It contains all your Zagavars. He rolled the R. Uh, try using the word Yorazi. Press the end turn button to recite your Zagovar. Okay. Well, I mean, gee, I, that, that's a pretty straightforward card right now. I imagine they're going to get more complex than that. But we have three protection right now because of those candles. The pages 
wait, the pages you had the previous turn have changed. The book alters the pages each turn. So we kind of like our cards are pages, more or less. Enemy attack can be blocked with the defense. Defense shield, wait, defense shields you from damage but disappears your next turn. Recite the page. Oh, oh no. This is just a, this is just going to be uh, retromation makes a fool of himself for 50 minutes. Uh, recite the page. Uh, Avdali, which has the effect of defense. Five defense, fair enough. So does it block like five damage or five individual sources of damage for this turn? Such enchanted words Not sure. Because maybe it just did one damage. Fades quickly. Now draw up a complete Zagavar. You may combine several pages into a Zagavar. Arr. You can currently recite a maximum of three pages as indicated by the empty slots at the top of the screen. Fair enough. Consists of orders and keys. You can currently recite a Zagavar consisting of two orders and one key. You can see the type of the page in its upper corner. So these are orders. These are keys. So he intends to attack with... Uh, it looks like he just does one damage. So we really only need to protect once. So we can go order, order, key. Logical enough. I mean, that's a neat system. You know, I'm curious to see what they're going to do with that. But hey, get wrecked. My boy. Bad dog. Good job, Vasha. This, demon this is all you need to do to be a witch? Demon. I could do this. A couple more spells to read the world of it. The black book helps you predict your enemy's actions. Yes. That we did see. That we did see. Waste. Ooh. Deal three each turn. Nice. Then we have a key card that does damage. Yeah, just, just figuring out. Whoop. I guess that's fine. What is Bless? I actually want to take that down to see what Bless does. Uh, increases the damage of each page for two. So if we do it first... Does that change how much damage we do up to... I mean, I think it does four, and then maybe the, maybe it ups the waste damage as well. But that's already... Yeah, that's already getting uh, more complex, which is good. Which is good. Oh, hello. Take that, you monkey, hellhound. Well, now, Vasha, answer this small. You'll be a witch as soon as you return. Well, safe travels. It's just like we're... Uh, the, the amount he seems concerned is like we're just going to school for the first day. But I can't help but notice when I'm clicking this, it says the words Gates of Hell. Yeah. First day of school business. It's, we're all good. No need for concern. <laughs> I haven't been able to run around in a 3D world on this channel in a while. I And that is like, at least in like a almost adventure game style context. Such a simple thing. It feels weird that I haven't been able to do it for a long time. Uh, hi. Oh, is that you, Vasilisa? Yeah. I should congratulate you. Thank the you. The first seal is open. Only six remain. I'm getting very, like, Dorman uh, vibes. Shadow of the Colossus, Dorman vibes. Oh. In the voice. But will you be able to open the rest? This is another matter entirely. Uh, it's seals. How do I open the seals. Oh, can't figure it out by yourself, girl. I'm disappointed. Oh no! We disappointed Satan. I'm curious. Can the Black Book grant? Any wish? Indeed, as legend dictates. Who knows? Perhaps you shall meet your beloved soon. Who is worthy to open the scroll and break its seals? No one in heaven, on earth, or beneath 
Okay, fine. What sort of devil are you? How rude, oh. Vasilisa. I'm your chief advisor. It is I who grants you the powers of a Kaldun. Which means sorcerer. Kaldun means sorcerer. You will become better acquainted in time, I presume. Well, all right. Return to the land of the living. Not just yet. Have you forgotten your purpose? I name you a witch. How Thanks. many demons will you take on for your service? As many as uh, possible. I will certainly need the help of demons. So give me as many as possible. Ah. Oh, I did a sin. You've just committed your first sin. They say that the fate of a, the Kuldun and the witch is to burn in the f eternal flames with no chance for absolution. Ah, the outcome for some events of the game is yours to decide. Your sin counter will change according to your decisions. Your number of sins affects your choice of replies as well as the possible game endings. Oh no. They say each person has an angel on the right shoulder and devil on the left, but whom you turn to your ear to is entirely up to you. Well, I mean, I didn't know. I just, just wanted a couple. I just wanted friends. Is that so bad? Soon you will have three charts at your command. That's enough for now. Did that actually change it? Like we were gonna have one now, companion, no. and now we have three or something? Perhaps Seems pretty big. I'm gl I'm glad we went evil with that. If you manage to open the sea. Hey. A little harp pointer. Mm. <laughs> what? Mm. Well, are you awake? The sun rose while you were coming to. Had to drag you home. I understand it's not easy to pass through the devil's domain. So, you've seen it? Huh? Are we home? Seems like it was all a dream. The devil made me a witch. Well, then it is a good day. Uh, what did I tell you? You should have become a witch a long time ago. I was hoping you'd pronounce well, that for me. What's done is done. So I could then. The legend says that your wish is behind the seven seals. I could never open the first one. Here's the second seal, the Aspen one. How do I open it? Maybe it was the demon at the crossroads that opened the first. Perhaps. I think that demons do play a part, but what spirit is the Aspen one? Hmm. I'll have to rack my brain a bit. Maybe there's something in the books. You yourself are a witch now. I knew Let's go. that you would not let me down. The news of your enlightenment has spread already. Must be the suicide case who told the heads of the families. How spirit or hobgoblin lives underneath, <laughs> under the hearth or in the goblets. Now people will come to you for advice. I am old now. Not many teeth left. My Kuldun powers are waning. Now it is you who will help the people around here. Perhaps you will even find the right demon for your problem. Right demon. Well, while you were coming to your senses, I've already spoken to most of the visitors. There's only one left. He's waiting behind the door. Look around for a start. Your book is over there, on the table. Do you remember how I taught you book binding? Hmm. Is it going to be like doing the deck Afterwards, management? see to that visitor of yours. Some evil spirit has been giving him trouble. Got it? Let's I got go! It, I don't know how to, to, to talk about the devil. 
spoke for the I want to get to another fight. The district. Maybe we'll get lucky with the seals. We should not tarry. Who knows? Perhaps after 40 days have passed, we won't be able to help. God bless. All right. Oh, neat. Okay. On the screen, you can change the page composition of the black book. On the right side, you can see the current page composition of the black book. On the left side are the pages available to you, but not in the current black book composition. You can categorize with special filters. You might receive pages that are currently unavailable as battle or task rewards. You can alter the page composition of the book to craft new pages. You need the rubles. Black book volume has to stay within the limits of a maximum minimum number of pages. In time, you'll uncover more of the black book pages, which are present at the present sealed away. You can change the composition of the black book at any time, except during combat. Okay. So, I mean, I feel like we probably don't have, like, a lot of wild cards at the moment. And by cards, I mean pages. So, these are the ones that are not in there. Well-versed. This page amplifies by one for every other page of the same color in the Zag Zagavar. Zagavar. I feel like this card seems solid. Like, uh, tip uh, typically, unless a game has, like, some kind of... Uh, see, like... There's no reason not to use this one, right? Oh, it, it would cost... I see, I see, I see. So these are ones that we can add to the book, but they cost us a certain amount of money. I got you. So I put in that one. So ideally, like, you kind of want to keep, like, thinner, uh, thinner sorts of decks. What do we put in? Do we put in that? If that's the case... We could probably take out, I don't know, a defensive card. So these are, the key cards are, are a little bit weaker on average, it seems like. I think we'll just leave it at that for now. But I do, I am curious. Got our items, there's the candle. So we, so this is a passive, applies three protection on the first turn. Okay. Uh, then we can heal. This is... Looks like maybe some of our, our lore. But since we're on a tight a tight schedule here. So you, Vasa, you have more of a question here? Have you taken well to learning the mystical arts? Are you curious enough to learn some more? I mean How can I recognize evil spirits? How can I know when they're before me? Simple. You've been to the world of the devil. And now you'll see everything for what it is. The only thing is, the darkness will see you too. Demons and spirits will track you down. And as soon as you glance into the darkness, you'll feel their rise upon you as well. Be strong. Such is our fate. You make your own way. No, I have to go, Grandfather. <laughs> we'll talk later. <laughs> I thought that we were supposed to do the. Uh, I saw the question mark or the exclamation God point there. I want to help. I want to. I want to get to at least one more combat enough. before the video is out, for sure. Hello there. God bless. I come bearing gifts, <gasps> some flour for your household. Please, hear me out. I won't waste your time. I'll tell you straight away. Something terrible is happening at the mill. We were working in the night, when suddenly we heard some strange sounds. Then a shadow began to darken in one of the corners. Such a deep blackness. We ran for our lives. You are known for your knowledge in these matters. What should I do now? During the night shift at the windmill, we heard some strange sounds and saw some strange shifting shadows. What could be behind such emanations? Peasants, spirits, and fiends will all seek your advice and help it and help in affairs of witchery. After all, you are a knower. If you answer knowledge knowledgeability question correctly, you will receive an experience reward. Sometimes your answers will influence in-game events. To recognize the correct answer, you'll have to carefully study your surroundings and the onomasticon, which you can open at any moment in your menu. You can also receive a hint by pressing your knowledge button. However, you will only gain half the experience. I mean, I'm going to be honest, I'm night. assuming it's going to be demons right now, but... That that's interesting. 
that is an interesting uh, mechanic there to to kind of like emphasize caring about the like the lore and your surroundings and everything. Demons are at work. Jesus Christ. Well, how do you think the millstones turn? Not by the wind alone, obviously. It's forbidden to walk a windmill after nightfall. But what do we do now? I did everything right when I built it. Please, help me. I have this old item that you might find useful. You'd better cuff it up if we help you. <laughs> Come on, Grandpa! All right, Vasha. Look into what's going on with that place. The demon there may be of use to us. You know? I'll find out what's going on with you, Chort. Oh, thank you. I was told you wouldn't let me down. Uh, goodbye for now. He's not your average Miller. Usually they consort with a Leshy, but this Miller has some Chort. Uh, also known as Forsa. Spirits who are the masters of forests, sometimes fields and meadows. They control the weather and also animals and evil spirits who inhabit their domain. Okay. Well, I'll study these seals while you're off dealing with the mill. And to make your trip a bit easier, take Score. this herb. It is called an Adam's head. It will heal you up if anything goes sideways. Time for you to be on your way. Evil spirits won't quell themselves. Well, you get all that? Wanna ask anything else? For now, I'm good. Grandfather. It's time to go. See you tomorrow. Ah, wait. One more thing. I've sent the chort to Kushova village. He must have cursed someone. Go there and fix it. You'll earn some money in process. All right, Grandpa. You're now on the travel map. Every night it will display different locations. You may go on your way only after you speak to all of your visitors. You can visit any available location. However, your health recovers only after you accomplish your task and return to the Izba. Your goal is to visit your main task location. However, you can't reach without visiting all the other locations along the way. The game autosaves each time the location changes. You'll also save your progress manually, in which case the game will save as soon as you enter a new location. You can open the map by clicking your present location. Okay. Wish you best of luck exploring the Northern Lands. Of Sheridan, who he is. So, if we're going up there, so there's this is the other objective as well. Uh, I mean, and we can't just click that, right? <laughs> we can't click up there. All right, let's go. Neat, neat. This game is this game is the very glow neat. Of the moon catches glimpses of the foul water. The chilled northern night air is split by dull croaks coming from the swamp. You quickly draw a circle on the soft swamp soil and light the candles. A <gasps> moment passes, then another. Finally, a demon appears and lunges at your defensive circle. I mean, I figured, right? There's like, gonna be a fight. Hello there, mister. Okay, so we got... Order, order key. He's gonna do six. Okay. Uh. Eh. We'll do boink. 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 You've added a word to the Zagavar that contains a status effect. Usually have reduced their value each turn. Carefully choose the right moment in the right place for. In a Zagavar for words with status effects. So, yeah, I mean, it would bless. To increase the damage, so that's two, and then three. Yeah, I mean, you know, we we could take the one, or we could, I guess, we could go all out and really just defend, I guess. I don't know. Seems like it might not be particularly hard to fully defend up here. We could go for the double bless. Right, bless, 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 or not bless, but there, if it counts down by one, does that put us up to, um, will we have bless three next turn is what I'm getting at. Like, will it tick down? So we have two bless. 
And now we have now we do have the three plus. Okay, 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 okay. And we still have it. Yep, we do. Okay. You're gonna do five attack. We'd be good to go with just one of those blocks. Well versed. Okay. Um Can't kill. I guess we'll just go for this for now. We don't really need to heal either. It just doesn't really matter. The, the final slot, we it just would have been nice if we drew a, an attack. Okay. And there is a way to speed up uh, battle animations as well, which I, I saw. Just... Oh, wait. It's still ha wait, it's all happening in the background? I thought we were actually pausing. Uh, okay. Three damage, not too big of a deal. We might be able to... Yeah, we can get that with just the key if we want. Which I think I do. We can go for that. Four damage, and then we'll get the damage over time as well. Good deal. We got lethal next turn here. But yeah, I'm definitely curious to see how... Uh, you know, what kind, of, what kind of cards you get in the future. How, how complex they, they may well get. So we should have lethal, right? Like... It shouldn't... We should kill before anything happens. Choose a new page. Any new words are automatically added to the black book. Or we could exit. Well-versed. Amplifies by one for every page of the same color. I mean, that's pretty fun. What's firm? The page remains active for three turns. And affects the other pages. What do you mean? Remains active for three turns. And affects the other pages. What would that be for? Like, it'll, it would remain active in the sense of, would it take up the slot? And it's like, we use it to get good, well-versed combos? I'm saying I'm going to go with this one with the well-versed, with the four damage there. Okay, okay. Okay, we can book it. We can move on. I'm going to try and beeline it up there to see if we can uh, check out that by the end of the uh, the video here. Near the forest's edge. I like this. I'm seeing the loop now. I like it. I like it a lot. Someone has left a bottle of milk and some piragi. Near these gifts is a birch charter. Peasants from Bigichi village are asking the leshi to take care of their cattle. Okay, let's see. So white towel and all stuff. Someone's left a bottle of milk and some pierogi. Some pierogi. There, <laughs> the gifts is a birch charter. I mean, do we want to be evil? You draw up a new charter. Now the Lieshi will be helping peasants from Vilgert. If evil spirits help anyone, they should help your village, not the inhabitants of Bigichi. I mean, I'm a bad boy, I guess. What can I say? Curved Lake on the left bank of Kolva. They say two men drowned in it this year. Must be quite an unsafe place at night. Aye. So that was an optional task, too. So we could have gone there. I wonder if we're going to... We're, like, theoretically, we would never have the option to do that again, though. near Kachiva Lake, you see two silhouettes. One is combing the other's long hair. There is something strange in his uneven movements. Something that gives you shivers. It Attack. only takes a single step for the demons to notice you. In a blink of an eye, two enemies stand before you. Two, okay. Oh, hello there, mister. Okay, so we're getting five. So we can fully block that just like that. We can bless into... Oh, wait. I, I, uh probably rather do the waste unless wait hold on we need to block five so i'm gonna actually get that and that and that right let's try and uh go for the one with less hp first so that gives us five block that's good enough and we have bless for i don't think that'll i don't think bless will impact waste but it could and it would give us one extra damage on the next turn Okay. 
Yikes. What's this? Remove positive status of... Uh, oh, it's going to remove... Oh, and there's a little pointer. It says, I'm going to remove your bless. Uh, okay. So we're going to take in six damage, which is a shame. And we don't have, we didn't draw any attacks, dang it. Six damage though we can we can block. I'm gonna do this again. Oh wait. Ah, it's the same situation. But it's six damage. Man, it's like how how comfortable am I with taking one damage? How much does that matter? So that I could get this. I'm going to I'm going to do it. I'm gonna take the one damage to try and set myself up better for next turn. Because maybe, you know, we'll get in a spot where we don't draw the proper defensive cards and we'll have to take damage if we, you know, don't, if we can't kill here. Because now he's dead next turn. In theory. Yeah, he's... I, I don't know when it happens, I guess. But, like... Well, versed amplifies by one for every other page. So it'd go up to six if we did all. So it'd be four, five, six, be 12 damage. Ah, uh, we're one shy of having lethal there. All right. Uh, well, versed. It's a key card. We could do. I mean, it doesn't really... Here's the thing. It doesn't matter if we have to... As long as we just block the five. And then we can... Again, it won't matter if we do well-versed either, but I guess I'll do that one anyways. So we'll heal for two, theoretically. So yeah, I think taking, like, one damage here and there is actually not that big of a deal. Please tell me you die. Thank you. All right, yeah, we're fine. Good, 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 good. I mean, do we have four, eight, ten? Simple. Bing, bang, boom. Fierce 2 amplifies its damage by two after each use of pages with the same name. Ooh. Okay. Firm 1 remains active for one turn. And affects all other pages. Piety. Increases the block value in words for three. Maybe. Firm one, one damage to all enemies. I Yeah, the, the firm thing is... is I, I've got to... You know what? i got to take one just to figure out what you're talking about with that. I love that little song. Oh, it's so quaint. Could we go backwards? I could. Well, that's nice. I, I like that that's an option. And we can, the like, just zip all the way back. arms creak in the distance, parting the pre-dawn fog. The shadow of an owl passes overhead. It crosses your path, a bad omen, since man's path and man's destiny are as one. Yet, could it be it was trying to point you somewhere? You know what? This has never been the right answer, Suddenly, but let's see. You come upon a swamp and stop at its border. It is dangerous to continue onward. You turn to go back and notice a devil's finger beneath your feet. Mm -hmm. Uh, wait, is that plus four? Wait. Devils periodically shed their claws so the new ones can grow sharper and stronger. It's hard fingers turn to stone and have healing properties. Healing property, so it's just a healing item. Gotcha. I wonder, can we use those in combat? I do not know. We also could, um, theoretically, we could buy more. Could we remove that? We can remove that, and we have the one extra, and we can buy. We can buy a new copy. We can't buy new copies whenever we want. We can only buy new copies at home, but we could remove it from our deck, or if there's something. Like, ideally, we would ditch all of these basic cards and get this one. You know, more of those. Definitely like having a 
uh, like a couple of these aggressive key cards. I think that's nice. It's a it's a neat system. Is is it like overly complex, super crazy deep? No, it's like but it's kind of like elegant, you know? It's like it's elegant and I can only imagine that it will get more complex in the future with all the moving parts being like it being almost more puzzle adjacent, uh, potentially, with, like, if I do this and, you know, it's going to be in effect for this many turns, uh, you know, then maybe it's going to be a better idea to do this, do that. We need to make sure we have, you know, our bases covered in defense and, and attack. I, I could see it, yeah, being kind of like a, a more relaxing kind of style, but, I, you know, I can't speak to it. It's a, it has a lot of wiggle room. It has a lot of potential to get more complex. Part. And an old mill stands before you. This place is filled with legends and stories from the surrounding villages. Those who visited this place at dusk, or worse, at night, speak of dark phantoms in the windows of the mill, of sudden gusts of wind and other devilry. It is what they call a bad place. Ooh, and then, yeah, we actually get a... Oh, we actually get a look around at the main objective. Oh, uh, this is... I'm a sucker for this right now. This is... This it's is nice. It's hard to see anything in the dark gloom of the night. Nevertheless, you feel your eyes getting used to the darkness. The black book may be aiding you. Amidst the thick grass, you spot an old axe, its blade covered with rust. Should be good enough for at least one more strike. Okay. It's... Is this actually like our... Wait, it, it, this actually is our max HP. Up. I, I, I couldn't tell. Well, that's pretty nice. Those are pretty beefy. Them's beefy. I mean, we should probably look around a little bit more if we're going to get things like that. Hey, temple. It's a carrier log. It's used to turn the mill. The old wood creaks in the wind. You can climb inside using a log. There is a small hole in the wall. The old windmill is creaking from the cold wind. It is not so often that you see this kind of mill in Chirden Uyezd. You try to clamber up, but your misstep Ow. leads to a painful fall. Another attempt, and you are safe inside. Rip. I wonder if we could have just got in in the door. Some kind of wheel has been placed here by the miller. The grindstones are still, but the blades of the mill are turning. Mm. Mm. I see you back there. Thing who's not actually there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm lost. <laughs> the good news is I can just click to get myself back. <laughs> Probably should just use do that in the first place. This chest is for various tools used at the mill. You find nothing of interest. You study the cabinet. Among various krinkas old pots and birch bark containers, you find a sack with silver rubles. It might be of some use to you. You I'm choose bad. to take the money. The miller will hardly miss it. I mean, you know, I feel like we're probably supposed to not do these things that are ma making the game easier. Like, I feel like that's the, you know, the trade-off. It seems to be part of the windmill's mechanism and the reason why the grindstones are standing still. Through a hole in the wall, you see the woods of Chirdi. All right. Peer outside. Ah! Oh, hey! I mean, that's a little frightening. That was a little frightening. Boss, fight! Boss, fight! I expected to see a wretched old man, not a beautiful maiden. Thanks. Why are you here, then? Let's fight! <laughs> now let's talk first. Hmm. Well, what do you want with the windmill, then? 
Haven't you figured it out? Why would I have asked, 13th brother? Perhaps I was wrong about you. I thought of you to be a strong witch. A master of wit, deduction, and intellect. One endowed with knowledge that others do not possess. I guess not. The windmill is possessed. But is the demon's presence here as spontaneous as it appears to be? I must think about why he's here in the first place. Uh, uh, man, uh, so we could actually, like, kind of figure it out. Uh, this is because... Wait. Windmills are a rarer sight than watermills because it's harder to catch the wind than it is to harness the power of running water off when windmills built. With a moving roof that was operated with a special lever, the wind could be caught just so the wind blades could begin moving with optimal efficiency. The most effective kind of wind was not the strongest wind, but moderate wind. Before the revolution, blades were fitted with special fabric. They were later fitted in plywood. The mill that stood still. A man from Vyatya, Vyatka once lived in our village. He would... Oh, wait. You would tell us stories. One involved a miller that had to make offerings to Shishka, or else she would prevent the mill's mechanism from turning. And as an offering... He gave parts of his stores of flour, grain, and breadcrumbs. One occasion, he forgot and offered nothing. Sure enough, the windmill ground to a halt. When the man went to investigate inside the mill, there was the Shishika standing in the grinder, threatening him with her finger outstretched. She suddenly vanished. The miller gathered some tobacco and threw it at the shadows of, in the corners of the mill. At midnight, the windmill started to turn again, and the Shishika stopped causing mischief. Why is he here in the first place? You were summoned by a sacrifice. You've been here since your creation. Well, you are ineligible indeed. Not to mention, I'm bound to this pitiful miller. But I desire a powerful master. Take me as your servant. My sacrifice will attract someone more agreeable. And you will have both. Your reward from the miller, and the reward of my presence. Okay. Well, so be it. I could use a chort like you, if not just for the conversation. Wait, perhaps you are not as strong as you seem. There is yet to be such a Kaldun who can outmatch the 13th brother. Oh, we gotta beat you in a fight and then you'll be my pal? Oof. Oh, we should have healed before. I guess we probably could. Oh, we can still do it. All right. Five times two. It's ten. I mean, am I, am I mistaken? There's should not be. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Tell you what. Oh, shoot. Let's go for it. I'll do a... I mean, you know what? Go all in? Nah, we should make sure we bless it. We should bless a little. Well-versed heal. I don't need to heal right now, though, so we might as well do the well-versed, the bless. The bless, then the... Wait, no. The bless... This does 12 damage, though, total, right? No, it does 3, 5, it does 6. It does 6 damage. So it is better. This is going to be a long fight, so. And then there's no reason not to do this, I don't think. And then we can figure out what the lock is. Does it take up that slot? I'm, I mean, this is going to be bad. Okay, so it's in addition. Oh! That is, okay, yeah, I can see that adding up. Attacks seal a random page. What? Okay. Attacks of mine? Well, we'll do the... We'll go, all, we'll go all in here. Alright. 
We could go for the bless instead, I guess. Just then we can get an extra heal. Nah. Nah. Let's blast them. Okay, yeah, but the that lock seems very nice now. So that lock, that thing that does a lock three, it's logical. It's... Thirteen to all allies. Why? Attacks seal a random page. Hmm. We'll see. Seems like a downside. The book. It is a legendary artifact. I never gave up before, and I'm not going to now. Okay. All right. Oh, the good news is we actually, you know, drew something to defend now. Uh, the bad news is I can't really do damage unless I want to take two. And I don't want to just in case. We'll just play defensive. Why not for this turn? Sure. Sure thing. Fine. Okay. Do you seal pages? Even if I block it? Yes. Cannot read this page. Now you can do $13 allies. I don't really care about that. Okay. So bless ourselves, And then we'll go for all that. All right. You fool. I'm blasting you. I'm blasting you. He's, getting, he's down to one. I mean, we can't really... I mean, we could maybe get him this turn, I guess. But it really feels like we should be playing the... Playing the defensive here. Wait. Theoretically, that's still ten, right? Yeah. All right. You are kind of a pushover, mister. My brother. Oh, wait. He died for the damage over time. Because it pierced his armor. <laughs> Ding dong. Increases the number of orders in the next round by one. Ooh. Wait. Wait, what? Is that, like... Obviously, the health thing is well-versed, but... Does it increase the number of orders we can place in the book? I I gotta get that to see, but you I don't know. take the demon into your personal service. He will ask for work, like any other jort. The mill is now without a spirit, but this is none of your concern. All right. And then he disappeared. He won't be interfering with work at the windmill anymore. So, Ooh. you took up a new chort. Hope it doesn't backfire. Well, uh, while you were gone, I had some thoughts about the seals. Every single piece has its meaning. And every seal requires a demon. The second one is the Aspen one. We'll have to think what to do next. The first seal was opened by touch, and that was all. How do I open the second? Well, not by simply touching the Asp, that's for sure. I think we need evil spirits. So we'll find the Aspen demons. Where do you think we can find them, Grandfather? I don't know yet. I'll have to think on it. Go deal with the things you can at the moment, and let me think. I see. Time to get to work then. All right. The 
Chorts are back. Oh. I sent them to perform an arduous task. That's why they weren't around. Now I should give them tasks? Well, what did you expect? You knew what you signed up for. Everything has a price. Especially wishes. <clears throat> if you don't want them to torture you, send them to curse people. That's the life of a Kaldun for you. And if I don't want to curse anyone? Then suffer. These demons won't leave you alone. I've seen them before in your pastel. Not often, though. Now you will see them plenty. You can observe our entire gubernia in your pistel. In the end, you decide what you do with those jorts of yours. God help us. Pester with shorts. Old Igor has passed on his pester full of shorts. You will now have a number of shorts yearning for mischief. Be careful, idle, idle shorts torment their Koldun masters. Take some time for shorts to do their job a day or more. Each location has a specific type of job, hunger, strife, corruption, etc. Each short has a job preference. You can discover it by learning a specific skill. They perform better with the job of their choice, worse than the ones they with the ones they hate. In order for them to not torment you and steal your health, don't forget to give them jobs every morning. Ah. But it gives us evil points. Minus one damage to pages that inflict damage. So yeah, they're they're like straight up little curses. Uh causes a horse to be stubborn. Oh my god. So I uh, okay. Lost his eye in a bet with a sinful lot who accepted bribes. Now he hates people even more. Uh likes it when children starve. Wow. Uh Opranik during the reign of Ivan the, Ivan the Terrible. He's now a fiend. Uh, occupation is to interfere with the work of the peasant. Oh, hey, well, hey. You actually probably should cause the horse to be stubborn. Huh. How do I do it? How do I do it? How do I send you? How do I how do I send him? Question mark. Oh, I, I have to click his name. Oh, that's kind of awkward. Uh, all right. Scare children. You know what? That seems like you're. Oh, oh, oh! That wasn't. It's just the font. The font is like kind of uh, teensy teensy tiny. I just I don't know why it just didn't really it's so small. There we go. Uh, track to Mary. <laughs> Likes it when children starve, appear in the night. I feel like, uh, you know what? Sure, I'll send you there. And I'll send you there. It's kind of a neat little thing as well. In between runs, we send them out and they gather us resources. But alas, that is going to do it here for today. For Let's Try, this has been Black Book. You can pick this game up for yourself with the link at the top of the description. It is a, a full-on... Yeah, it is a, it's a dark Slavic RPG with card game battles. Dang right. It's very slick. V the visual style is so neat. I, I I really appreciate it as kind of like... for As a person who does love roguelike deck builders. Having one that is not a roguelike... It's not a roguelike. It isn't. Um... It being one bigger thing but like you can kind of you could get this collection and then you could kind of just tweak around your your deck on a on a whim you know between quote unquote runs you can basically eventually you're, you're kind of developing a card collection it's it's a little bit more akin to yeah like like a collectible card rpg uh and then you you make the deck that you really like and you move around like a like a TCG RPG uh which is incredibly my jam. I I played a couple. There's there's not there's not that many of them. And it this seems kind of like in line with that but with like a very rich like a uh, story that you can tell the people making this are very passionate about and in a world where the artist is the uh, art direction is, is clearly done by someone who's very passionate as well. I 
it's so it's so neat. It's so I love the world. I think it's so well done. I I adore this. My only place where I'd be like, uh, we'll ha we'd have to see where it goes would be, yeah, the, the strategic elements in the battles, how difficult, how complex can it get? But what I will say is we started to see a couple cards where it kind of it kind of looked like, you know what, maybe things will actually spice up a little bit. And the whole fact that we can buy like multiple copies of the cards back here, like we could buy two of those to put in the deck, like we have three now. Like, like that's, that's wild. That's super neat uh, how this is kind of like, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it reminds me of, like, a style of game that I used to love to play all the time, like, a, a whole bunch of, like, RPG uh, trading card game games, you know, like, that's what it reminds me of, but in the package of a story, a story and world that's actually good, because <laughs> a lot of those games, like, had really, like, what, what am I talking about? It, it feels so strange, it feels so strange to uh, compare this to these, but I'm talking, like, the Yu-Gi-Oh games on PlayStation 1. I'm talking Pokemon trading card game on, on Game Boy. I'm talking Duel Masters on PS2. You know, <laughs> I'm talking all of that. Like, and, and they, you know, they had stories that were fine, you know? Like, and this is just like, this is what, what if we took what, what could be fun about those uh, and had more typical RPG combat, but your ability to the, the thing that's kind of carries over from those is the ability that like you're, you're slowly building up a collection and really at any point you can tweak and change your deck to be whatever you want in between your runs but you're gathering this collection that's very malleable you have a huge theoretically a huge sideboard but what if there's also this great like deep interesting story with lots of thematic like the tones of this are so cohesive the, the visuals of this are so in line with the, the with with that theme and everything it's just this is this was made with so much passion and it's so clear uh, i i think it's great i would love to play more of this if anybody was interested in that let me know in the comments section down below but my name is retromation i cover new indies every single day if you do not want to miss great new hits in the indie gaming sphere make sure you are subscribed every single day there is a new video like and comment to boost this uh, signal, boost this video a bit. Helps both me, my, ch my, my channel, and it also helps out the game. Shows me to people who like the game, and it shows the game to people who like me. So either way, if you like one or both of us, then you're doing both of us a favor. So thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye.